Uh, says, you should keep watching, uh, and he's driving on almost extraordinaire. So he goes and flies everywhere. But even for a guy like you, I imagine this is of some concern. Well, I'm concerned, number one, because I'm flying United tomorrow to Portugal. But at the same time, there's a, a pattern here, uh, especially with United Airlines over the past few years of a bunch of snafus or glitches or whatever they want to call it. But they and never adequately described this router thing today. That sounds like something like... It sounds, Son says when he breaks the computer. It sounds like an excuse you say to people when you don't really want to talk about it and they right. don't really understand what you're saying anyway, so they just stop asking questions. Our IT people do that. <laughs> this is way over your comprehension. But, but here's the thing. If, like, a router issue can basically bring down the world's, what, second largest airline, I mean, how's that even possible? Well, it happens again and again. This is a different variant of the same sort. Mm -hmm. And I guess what I'm wondering is, uh, on the same day we have the New York Stock Exchange talking all this other stuff, uh, it's just weird. It's excessively odd. Uh, you know, it's hard to say that there's a parallel between them, but between the Stock Exchange, the Wall Street Journal, and United Airlines, three really high-profile companies or businesses, uh, there's something going on here that's just not quite kosher. All right, but when you fly, a lot of people say that's a little bit more important than whether you can buy or sell some stock on a given day. Um, do you feel safe when you fly? You fly a lot. I fly, yeah, a couple hundred thousand miles a year, and I, I fly, I feel safe when I'm in the air, of course. Uh, you know, flying is very safe, but what I don't really feel comfortable with is all these glitches and the cybersecurity stuff. And airlines have access to so much about you, just kind of like the banks and everything else. So I can even live with that as long as they don't start tinkering with the plane. Yeah, and there's so much misinformation about what they can actually do. I mean, a couple months ago, there was a, a scare that hackers could actually bring down planes from in the air. If you remember, I think I was on this show right. talking about it. And How realistic a threat is that? I have no idea because I don't know anything about technology, but right. the fact that that rumor even circulated shows that n nobody really knows. And mm -hmm. that's a big problem to, to me and you as flyers. We don't know what we can trust. And they're and not very reassuring. No, they're not, because I don't think they really know. They don't know. Yeah. And you know what I like having you as a guest? Your guest is, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't pretend that, to that, I don't that know. got me through high school. I can't tell you how it got me through high school. C's get degrees. There we go. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, if, if they 